The recent wreck involving Bruce Jenner is a complex and evolving story with tons of moving parts, much like, well, Bruce Jenner. But today we'll be talking about one particular side of the story, the legal one. Welcome to Everyday Law, I'm your host Corlandos and this is the show that explains the legal side of the stuff you're already talking about. So, you can sound smarter when you're arguing with your friends. Bruce Jenner has been in the news a lot lately and for many different reasons. One of those reasons is because he was involved in a fatal car accident earlier this month. And because the fatality happened to the driver of the car that was allegedly in direct contact with Bruce's car. Some are speculating that Bruce will be charged with involuntary manslaughter. So this sparked the question, exactly what is involuntary manslaughter? Well first, let's talk about manslaughter. Manslaughter is the unlawful killing of a human without malice. Now you can think of malice as being ill will or beef. And in California where the accident occurred, there are three kinds of manslaughter. Voluntary, involuntary, and vehicular. Now the voluntary type happens when an unlawful killing without beef happens upon a sudden argument or in the heat of passion. So think Bugs Bunny shooting Elmer Fudd. Well nah, let's be honest, that, that little dude had a whole lot of malice. So let's say that a husband walks in on his wife having an affair with a neighbor. Now the husband may have come home in a good mood and carrying flowers for the wife, especially if it's say their anniversary. But in the heat of the moment, seeing his wife and the neighbor in bed together may be too much and the betrayal may cause the husband to kill his neighbor in a fit of rage. That would be without malice aforethought. Now the involuntary type of manslaughter is what comes to mind for most people because it involves the unlawful killing without malice that happens as a result of just lacking due caution. But contrary to the reports, this type of manslaughter doesn't apply to acts committed while driving a vehicle. So that leaves vehicular manslaughter, which would be the type that's most applicable to this matter. Now if the vehicle was being driven in the commission of a lawful act, like a normal commute, then the key for the test of vehicular manslaughter is that it requires that the person have driven the car in an unlawful manner like texting while driving, or speeding, or crossing the double yellow line, and exhibiting ordinary or gross negligence. Now ordinary negligence means that you just failed to use reasonable care to prevent reasonably foreseeable harm to someone else. Gross negligence, on the other hand, occurs only when a person acts in a reckless way that creates a high risk of death or great bodily injury, and the reasonable person would have known that acting in that way would create that type of risk. So, unless they can prove that Bruce acted with negligence or gross negligence, he's likely to beat a manslaughter charge like Beck beat Beyonce at the Grammys. Not convincingly, but still get to go home with the trophy. Well, that's all for this week's episode. And if your friends or coworkers are keeping up with the car crashians, Remember to wow them with the info you just learned here and subscribe at our channel for the legal lowdown on future headlines.